we make the bread ourselves. It's like a Japanese milk bread that has uh, sekio miso in it. The bun is brushed with kipi mayonnaise, which is made with strictly egg yolks for just some richness. And then we sprinkle that with a furikake that we make. On top of that is the chicken breast itself. And the chicken is brined in ramen broth, and so it actually tastes like ramen. We dust it with something called moshio, which is salt that is derived from scraping seaweed, and then some sancho peppercorns. On top of that, we put some pickled lotus root, some Japanese cucumbers that are just salted and drained, shiitake mushrooms that we've cooked in some red mirin and some soy, and then we build kind of this salad on top with pak choy, tatsoi, mizuna, komatsuna, mitsuba, and a few different kind of herbs and flowers. And have a little carrot smiley face that echoes Zayu's, you know, playfulness. And then we just mist it with yuzu juice and some toasted sesame oil. We leave it with the top bun off, so it has that kind of beautiful, you know, arrangement on top, and then you get to smash it yourself and kind of destroy it, so and it's kind of fun. You know, when we look at things, how to approach it, it doesn't, we don't look at sort of the, the optics of it. It's just sort of like the way, well, this is how we should do it, of course, because why would you not brine it in ramen? It makes no sense to do it otherwise. We also wanted to um, make it representative of Den and his playfulness, but also his kind of thoughtfulness with the dish. So certainly we could make a, a simplified version and probably other simplified versions around town are better but uh, to make it a little bit more uh, philosophically consistent with, um, you know, as I mentioned, his food is very playful and fun, but there's an enormous amount of work and effort and seriousness that goes into fabricating that fun. So we wanted to kind of, you know, just take the same sort of approach, but it's hard for us to uh, under-complicate what we do. It's just our modus operandi.